So somehow I managed to start this Apps of the Month series, make a single video, and then completely forget about it. Well this time, I promise it'll be different. There will be more Linux Lounges Apps of the Month. Hopefully. Hello and welcome to Linux Lounges Apps of the Month, the monthly show where I tell you about some free and open source apps that I've been using and absolutely loving. This month we're going to be talking about the distraction-free writing tool Focus Writer, the simple work timer GNOME Pomodoro, a very modern and easy to use flashcard app called Memorado, and a Tor client called Carburetta, which will let you use the internet securely and anonymously with ease. First, let's talk about Focus Writer. The best way that I can describe this program is by saying that it provides a very similar distraction-free writing experience to what's available on the free write range of devices, but of course on the computer that you already own. It accomplishes this by giving you a full screen writing canvas. The advantage of being full screen is that with Focus Writer, you're less likely to try and multitask and get distracted than with other writing programs that run in a window alongside your other apps by default. Not only does Focus Writer aid your writing by being distraction free, but it's also absolutely full to the brim of extremely useful features that'll help your writing along. Focus Writer has all the usual features that you'd expect from a writing tool, such as spell check, document formatting, and support for multiple file formats. Additionally, Focus Writer goes above and beyond and provides a bunch of additional features such as a selection of themes, including the option to make your own, timers, alarms, and statistics about how much you've written and when. Additionally, you can configure Focus Writer to play typewriter sounds as you type. Now how cool is that? So overall, I find Focus Writer to be one of the most feature-rich writing tools out there. Undoubtedly, this is a must-have tool for any writers out there. The next program that I want to talk about is another productivity tool called GNOME Pomodoro. For those who don't know, the Pomodoro technique is a time management method that involves working for a certain length of time, usually 25 minutes, then taking a 5 minute break before working for another 25 minutes. Once four of these cycles have been done, you take a longer break, usually 20 minutes. In my experience, this is a highly effective way to work, and GNOME Pomodoro enables me to use this method with ease. The main thing that I like about this program in particular is that it integrates really well with the GNOME desktop. For instance, it enables you to control your Pomodoro timer from an icon in the GNOME panel. Furthermore, GNOME Pomodoro has lots of other nice features too, such as being able to change how long each interval is, being able to change what sounds play at the end of each interval, being able to turn on or off a ticking sound, and other useful features of that nature. Overall, GNOME Pomodoro does nothing to reinvent the wheel, and that's the main reason why I love it so much. It's simple, and it just works. I'd highly recommend this program to anyone, but especially to people who've never tried the Pomodoro method before. This method really will change how you work. The next program that I want to talk about is a flashcard program called Memorado. Now usually when people think of flashcard programs, they think of Anki. And while Anki is great and extremely powerful, it's also sometimes unintuitive and somewhat dated. In fact, there are some systems that I just haven't been able to get Anki working on. Namely, any ARM devices such as my Raspberry Pi or Pinebook Pro. And that's where Memorado comes in. It's far less powerful than Anki, but it still has all the basics covered in a simple and easy to use package. You can create simple text-based flashcards, go through them as you would with any other flashcard program, and even export them in case you want to make a backup or move them to another device. Furthermore, Memorado is built around the solid foundations of GTK, meaning that it should work really well on a wide variety of Linux systems, and should integrate really well with your desktop if you're using something like GNOME. Overall, I think that Memorado is a fantastic flashcard program if you're tired of Anki and only require the basics. 
Though I do think that the lack of access to the Anki ecosystem of cloud syncing and pre-made decks really does hurt Memorado. I think that the best way that the devs of this program could improve it is by adding Anki deck support. But with that said, I still think that Memorado is excellent and I highly recommend everyone who needs a flashcard program to go and check it out. But with that said, on to the next program. Carburetta is another simple program that does one thing and does it extremely well. In Carburetta's case, it allows you to extremely easily connect to the Tor network and use it system wide. This means that you can securely and privately connect to the internet with any applications that you want. Though of course keep in mind that just because your connection to the internet is private doesn't mean what you're doing on there is private. In my opinion, the main advantage of using Carburetta over any other method of using Tor is just how easy to use it is and just how polished it is. With a single click, you can be connected to Tor and with a few more clicks, you can change settings such as which country you want to connect to websites from, which port you want to use, and whether you want to use a Tor bridge, which can help you access Tor if your ISP or government or whatever else has blocked access for some reason. Overall, I actually really like Carburetta and highly recommend it. And while I wouldn't use it for anything that's a matter of life or death, I do think it's a great program for making your internet access just a little bit more private. Furthermore, I don't think that using Tor has ever been this easy. So in conclusion, those are four Linux apps that I enjoy using and highly recommend. But what did you think? Do you enjoy these apps? What apps would you recommend? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.